hello and welcome this is me all you know that okay so let's just start it with our daily session like uh, what you know that uh, I'm a word lover what is like uh, is like uh, oxygen to me something like uh, oxygen to me. if I don't describe words uh, for today uh, I feel like I'm, I have lost everything I have just I don't have the life to lead okay I have nothing okay I have no vision I have nothing okay at all. okay so that's uh, my concern issue here okay so fastidious the first one okay fastidious is like uh means very attentive to and uh, concerned about accuracy and detail okay fastidious is like uh, a person who cares about his own uh, strength like uh he he doesn't uh allow himself to do mistake okay so he always like uh i can't do this kind of mistake okay S especially there are some people who like uh don't accept the failures especially like a person who know uh, want to know more and more and more and more so he try to understand that what will make me perfect it's a kind of disease perfectionism disease you can say that fastidious is a kind of disease but it's a positive word uh, anyone can do the positive uh, take the positive one like uh, you can be a critical thinker if you if you think more about uh, something uh, a topic because like uh, if you want to know more about literature you can deeply understand that literature what happened to joyce what happened to walsworth and uh, who uh, other persons okay so you can understand that okay fastidious is like that one it's like a meticulous it's like fussy it's like finicky it's like critical it's like perfectionist as i say that assiduous is like uh, as is dull by nature but he has uh, uh, done a lot of hard work assiduous is like a intelligent person okay but fastidious sedulous you know that sedulous comes from the seduction word seduction is like a hard working uh, also sedulous also suggests that precise is like concise form okay shortly exact is like i want this exact i want the exact answer like uh, yeah i don't care about how much time it will take but i want the exact answer impossible to please okay so the people who think very deeply or who deeply or is like say that uh, critically you can't actually please them by your knowledge or by your uh, whatever you say that motivation uh, critical thinkers uh, uh, lightly takes the what can i say that they don't uh, care about the motivational speakers like uh, you can say for example i actually don't know how to mention anyone's name but if i mention someone's name like uh, bill gates steve jobs like uh, many godfathers you think that they are the mafias of business giant okay critical thinkers don't believe that because they know that there are something lies in between so they have the their own way of thinking okay so that's a critical thinking fastidious is like that one so how you understand that word okay for the last couple of years for the last couple of years i have tried to hide myself so there is like uh, for the last couple of years i have tried to hide myself so that i can research seriously about how to become a perfectionist it's a kind of uh, suggesting that fastidious spelling and also you whatever you need to know for understanding the fastidious word okay it actually says all the things uh, it actually implies everything uh, another one if you are not uh, good enough to read these kind of sentences so you think that this is a bias kind of thing or you can say that this is not uh, justified with your logics okay so then you can switch to another one okay fact is that students from India okay most students from India are very serious and concerned about accuracy and details okay India is a big country and uh, there is a huge population you can know that uh, you know that so but that doesn't mean that they are not uh, concerned there are some students there are some uh, areas like kerala students they are so much deep study like uh, tamil students like um malayalam they are so deep thinkers they are like uh, think deeply they do everything perfectly if you watch their movies you can feel that okay they don't uh, make a mistake or like a silly mistakes like the uh bollywood ones does so they have uh, that capability but most students i say the fact is that students from india are very serious it's like uh, most students are very serious about concert about accuracy and details so that's how you can understand the first idea's word another one is uh, okay so that's how first ideas can be understandable these two lines these two calls magical lines uh okay so what do you um, can make some sentence like uh, mrs brown was a fastidious housekeeper so someone's name uh, mrs brown and she was a fastidious housekeeper okay she cleaned up our crumbs 
Crowns is like something dirty, okay? Almost before they hit the floor. Okay, that's a good habit. Uh, Jeff was so fastidious in his work habit that he needed neither waste, waste buckets or any razor. A good thing one. Uh, last one is important and last one is so funny. Okay, as a deep thinker, I'm in such a position. As a deep thinker, I'm in such a position that I need everything as fastidiously as possible. And as perfectly as possible. So you need, you can understand the whole fastidious meaning from here. Okay, that's it. Another one, factitious. Factitious is a good one. That means artificially created or developed. Uh, factitious is like uh, not actually related with factual. Because factual is truth, factitious is not truth. But you will get uh, amazed by this word because it's a GRE word. So GRE words are very, 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 very annoying and very, very interesting to know because they have only one meaning. And uh, you can't actually exchange this word with other because uh, it's an uniqueness. Okay, Factitious is like artificially created or developed fraudulent spurious is like a fake false spurious is the synonyms of false uh, okay fake counterfeit uh, then uh, fallacious you can say that spurious also mean fallacious okay fallacy okay uh, and engineered okay that's a very bad for things for me okay and manufactured manufactured is also a fake thing pretend oh she's pretending to be a angelina jolie okay fabricated you know that fabric story catered okay uh Fabricated is there is a relevant word with fabricate is like prevaricate, which is also means deviance from the lie. Okay, deviance from truth that is like lie, not genuine. So, something fake that means they are not genuine. Mock. So, you heard that word very, very often time because if you are uh, a IELTS candidate, yeah, mock, 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 test, mock, test, mock, test. It's like a fake test. Contrived is a good one, contrived is a fake one, and it's also a GRE word. And it's also you can find this word from uh, Princeton or where it is described very accurately and contrived you can get that word from there i learned that from here and that's why i'm suggesting you to do that uh, from princeton you can uh, find it this word con uh, contrived in princeton good word okay so i can understand that factitious is the bad one okay the factual identities okay the truth identities of history are fake are falsified to prove us fatuous fatuous is, uh, is like obtuse or you can say that fool uh, are mentally sick by showing their seriousness okay you know that uh, history is not based on truth or history is not uh, written by as it is it was uh, it can you can say that it was falsified by fake or uh, to show us that oh yeah this happened oh this this uh, particular group is guilty and this particular group is in innocent so f history identities factual identities of history are faked or falsified to prove us fatuous or mentally sick by showing their seriousness Mentally sick is like a condition, a certain condition where you feel that, oh, I'm not mentally okay. So that is condition. Mentally sick is like a condition I'm suggesting here by showing their seriousness. Okay, the theory which is based on factitious evidence will soon be revealed to society. So as uh, for today, you know that there are many information you are getting right now is uh, actually the one which uh, actually wants the truth ones. But uh, when you heard them the first time for the for the first time, then uh, you think that oh that's true. But right now it is not true. If I give an example, then you will understand that the Titanic, uh, the Titanic ship was not the actual ship which uh, was drowned in the sea. So it was another one. So you can understand that what is the history identities that was actually true but factual identities that was truth sh showed by the mass media or the political leaders just oh yeah this happened or the business holders the factual identities of history are faked or falsified to prove us fatuous or mentally sick by showing their seriousness so factitious is like that one so that the theory which is based on factitious evidence will soon be revealed to society so that's it from my part and uh, i think you understand the, these two words which is uh, one is factitious another one is fastidious both there comes with the word starts with the word fa and uh, that's 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 the kind of coincidence okay that's it thank you